How do you know where you should be doing your marketing and advertising if you don't even know what your customer journey looks like? Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, and I've been helping over 6,000 people and businesses over the last eight years with their online marketing and their automation. And the customer journey automation is one of the most important parts out there to having a good system to be able to scale and grow your business. Now, the customer journey is where your customer comes from, what action they take, and then what happens after they take that action. And a lot of people have one of these set up, usually the marketing. They try the Google ads, you've tried the Facebook ads, or they have the website. You've put a lot of money and time and effort into building a nice looking website, your brand, your logo, your colors, but maybe you haven't done the marketing. And then most of us actually aren't even doing any of the follow-up. What happens after they take some sort of action with you? And that's what I want to talk about today is the three stages of the customer journey and where you actually need to start. Now, we all know you need to do marketing to make yourself aware, bring new customers in. We all know you need some sort of website or landing page. And then we all know you need a follow-up. Three simple things, right? So I like to start in the middle. The website and landing pages, I think, are the key. Because you can do all the marketing you want, but if they never come to the website and fill out the form, what's the point? And then if you have a website and you're collecting all these leads and customers and you never follow up with them with the follow-up, the third stage, What's the point? So you really need all three of these to be successful. So step number one, make sure your website and landing page have good forms in there. Make it easy for people to become a lead. They're browsing your website, you know, give them something in exchange for their email address. If they're on a landing page and they want to buy something or they're interested about something, give them a coupon code in exchange for their email address. So you need to have a lot of ways for somebody to opt in, give you their email address on your website. And I usually encourage landing pages. You can find other videos on my YouTube channel about landing pages. Next, I think follow-up is the second most important. So step two is the follow-up. So no matter how much marketing you do, if you don't follow up with people, you're going to lose money on your marketing. So you want your website landing page to collect the leads. Then you need a good email follow-up system, some way to build a better relationship with these people. So after they give you their email on your website, you need to email them at least seven times. It's the good old sales technique, right? Call someone seven times and they'll become a customer. What you need to do is build a relationship and remind them of you and your business and your services. And you need to keep reminding them. They might not be ready to buy the first day they come to your website, but if you email them enough and provide a lot of value, when they are ready to buy, they're going to come back and hire you. Step number three, now you can finally do the marketing. Why? Because you have a good foundation, a strong foundation and a system in place. Because like I said before, you can do all the marketing in the world, but if you're not building a relationship and following up with your leads, you're losing out on all those people you were just marketing to. So what you want to do is start thinking about where your customers are. So most of the time it's Google. If somebody's typing in exactly what I offer, I want to show up there. So local gym near me, um, online coach near me, um, you know, all kinds of different things, restaurant near me, or maybe you are a course creator, a brand, an entrepreneur. Maybe you need to be on Twitter or Facebook groups. That's another good place. Or you could be on YouTube and you're the educator. You're teaching people, instructing people on things. So those are really three different places. Where are your customers at? Google, Facebook groups for recommendations, or YouTube for education. Then that's where you want to do all your marketing. So you want to be running Google ads. You want to be doing Google SEO with your blogs. You need to be active on social media, building your brand on Facebook, or you need to be on YouTube making educational videos. Now, you really don't need to start with all three. Think about where your customer's at and focus on that. And that's really important. My next video, I'm going to talk about where exactly you should be doing the marketing, what you should be doing on Google versus Facebook versus YouTube, right? What type of business do you have or nonprofit do you have and where you should be doing your marketing for your customers? Thanks again for watching this video. Get out there, build the system, and then start your marketing.